Hello dear students, myself Mrs. Rinku Yogesh Patil, working as a lecturer at KCT's Krishna College of Pharmacy, Kara. In this video, we are going to see the definition of cardiovascular drugs, their classifications with examples and also what is mean by cardiotonic drugs with their examples. Now see the learning outcomes of this topic. Students will be able to define and classify cardiovascular drugs with their examples. Draw the structure of cardiovascular drugs. Recall the properties and uses of cardiovascular drugs and understand the official preparations and storage conditions of cardiovascular drugs. Now see the definition of cardiovascular drugs. The cardiovascular drugs which exerts their action on heart or blood vessels and to modify the cardiac output or distribution of blood to certain portions of circulatory system means these drugs having their major action on heart or blood vessels and used for cardiac disorders like angina pectoris, hypertension, cardiac arrhythmia and CHF that is congestive heart failure. Now see the types of cardiovascular drugs. First one is the cardiotonic drugs. This drug increases the force of contraction and having the tonic effect on the heart. Second one, antiarrhythmic agents. It is used to treat the cardiac arrhythmia. Third one, antihypertensive agents that is used to treat the hypertension. Four, vasodilators that is drugs causing the dilation of blood vessels and fifth one is antihyperlipidemic agents also known as lipid lowering agents drug which are used to lower the plasma lipid levels now see the detailed classification with examples then first Cardiotonic drugs, also known as cardiac glycosides or cardiac steroidal glycosides. Examples are digitoxine, digoxine, gitoxine, and cobain. Second, antiarrhythmic drugs. Examples quinidine, procainamide, propranolol, and phenytoin. Third one, antihypertensive agents. Examples are methyl dopa, vanithidine, riserpine, pentolinium, clonidine, hydralazine, nephidipine, and captopril. Fourth one, vasodilators. Examples of vasodilators are glyceryl trinitrite, ethyl nitrite, and tolazoli. And last one, lipid lowering agents. Examples are clofibrate and nicotinic acid. Now, other cardiovascular drugs having the if indirect effect on cardiovascular systems are first one is the diuretics and second one is the anticoagulants. Example of diuretics are frosamide and hydrochlorothiazide and second one is the Anticoagulants, example warfarin and comerol. Now see the details of types of cardiovascular drug. In that first one is the cardiotonic drug. Cardiotonic drugs, the drugs which exerts the positive inotopic effect on heart that is increases the force of muscle contraction of heart and without increasing its oxygen consumption. Now see, after hydrolysis of this cardiotonic drug which gives the a glycon part and glycon part. Glycon part that is sugar part and a glycon part it is steroidal nucleus and which is linked glycosidically with this sugar part. Hence, they are called as 
कार्डियोटोनिक ग्लाइकोसाइड्स और कार्डियक स्टीरोडल ग्लाइकोसाइड्स सी द यूजेस ऑफ दिस कार्डियक ग्लाइकोसाइड्स इट इज यूज टू ट्रीट द कार्डियक अरेथमिया टू ट्रीट द एट्रियल फ्लटर ऑल्सो ट्रीट द ट्रैकेकार्डिया एंड टू रिड्यूस द इडिमा दे हैव इंक्रीजेस द ब्लड फ्लो to kidney and they modify the renal functions causing the diuresis hence they are helpful that is useful in reducing the edema this cardiac glycosides occur naturally in the plants and don't we know and they stimulates the heart muscles hence used to treat the chf that is congestive heart failure now see the hydrolysis products of cardiac glycosides example of cardiac glycosides are digitoxin digoxin gitoxin and cobain also known as the stropanthin and their hydrolysis products that is sugar part and a glycon parts c this a glycon parts having the cardiac activity and these sugar parts it is helpful for increase the water solubility and cell penetrability also increase the potency and stability of the drug and also decrease the toxicity of drug now see details of this cardiac glycosides first digitoxin properties of digitoxin stability and storage conditions uses dosage forms and brand names second digoxin properties stability and storage uses of digoxin dosage forms and brand names third one is digitoxin properties of digitoxin stability and storage condition uses official preparations that is dosage forms and brand names now coben properties stability and storage conditions uses dosage forms and brand names thank you